İlk önce tek sesli söyleyeceğiz şarkıyı. Sonra iki sesli. Sonra da üç sesli. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities or Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, oh Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wonder, wherever I roam, I couldn't be fun. Under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants and maybe try a few. The bare necessities of life will come to you. They'll come to you. Çok teşekkür ederim. Dolce olarak ilham aldığımız ikinci bir unsur da aslında şarkılarda anlatılan öyküler. Bu öyküleri seyirciye daha iyi aktarabilmek için biz performanslarımızda çok sesliğin yanında başka tamamlayıcı öğelere değer veriyoruz. Ee, örneğin işin içine birazcık oyunculuk kattığınızda şarkı söylerken bu öyküyü çok daha e, iyi anlatabiliyorsunuz. Veya eğer şarkı bir dönemi, bir akımı veya bir kitleyi konu olarak yazıldıysa o zaman biz ufak koreografiler veya aksesuarlar kullanarak o havayı birazcık olsun yakalamaya ve sizleri yansıtabilmeye çalışıyoruz. Bunun bir örneği olarak biz Putting on the Ritz şarkısını size sunalım istedik. 1929'da Büyük Buhran döneminde Amerika'da çok teşekkür ederim. Bestelenmiş olan bu parça gösterişli giyim kuşamları aslında ne kadar yoksul olduklarının üstünü örten Harlem sakinlerine gönderme yapıyor. One, two, one, two. No, she didn't. I can't believe my eyes. Come on, look at her. No. Have you seen the well-to-do up on Lenox Avenue? On that famous Star Old Fair with their noses in the air? and narrow colors, white spots and fifteen dollars, spending every dime for a wonderful time. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Harlem sits, putting on the Ritz. Spangled gowns upon a bevy of high brows from down the levee, all misfits, putting on the Ritz. That's where each and every Lulu Bell goes. Every Thursday evening with her swell bows. Robin elbows, come with me and we'll attend the Jubilee and see them spend their last two bits. Putting on the Ritz. You can almost sing Istanbul on this tone. Changes fit the harmony with the syncopation on the melody. Take me back to Constantinople. No, you can't, can't go back to Constantinople. Now it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Come with me and we'll attend the Jubilee and see them spend their last two bits. Put it on the Ritz. Çok teşekkür ederiz. 
Dolce Day bizi çok heyecanlandıran ve müziğimizin çok çeşitliliğini sağlayan üçüncü bir unsur da müziğin farklı renklerine olan ilgimiz. Bu nedenle repertuarımızda caz müziğinin de birçok formuna yer vermekteyiz. Şimdi sizlere sırasıyla Latin, Gospel ve Swing tarzındaki üç parçamızdan örnekler sunacağız. Orijinali Tico Tico no Fuba olan bir Brezilya parçasıyla başlıyoruz. Çıkardığı sesten ötürü halk tarafından Tico Tico olarak adlandırılan ve Brezilya özgü bir kuş türü olan Çin korkuşuna ithafen yazılmış bu parçayı ve sizlere Andrew Sisters Jazz Vokal grubunun yorumuyla seslendireceğiz. Birazcık Dolce özgü hava katmak için de ben kastanyetlerimle eşlik edeceğim. Tico tico tico tico tico tac is tico tico he's the cuckoo in my clock and when he says cuckoo he means it's time to woo it's tico time for all the lovers in the block i've got a heavy date a date a date at eight so speak oh tico tell me is it getting late if i'm on time cuckoo but if i'm late woo woo the one my heart is going to may not want to wait For just a birdie and a birdie who goes nowhere He knows of every lover's ain't and how to go there For in affairs of the heart my Tico's terribly smart He tells me gently, sentimentally at the start Oh, oh, I hear my little Tico Tico calling to me The time is right, the shades have not have fallen I love that not so cuckoo cuckoo coo coo in the clock Tico Tico Tico Tico Tico Tuck Tico Tico Tico Tico Sıradaki parçamız Ada Ruth Habershon tarafından yazılmış bir dini parça. 1907 tarihli bu çok eski parçayı farklı tarzlarda ve farklı isimlerdeki yorumlarıyla da dinlemek mümkün. Will the circle be unbroken? Well, I told the undertaker, undertaker, please write for this lady that I had. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna follow what's behind her. It's not a hole that I can be and be brave, but I could but not. Teşekkür ediyoruz. Çok rahatsız. Bu kısmın son parçası ise Louis Armstrong ile özdeşleşmiş bir caz standardı. Amerika'daki New Orleans kentinin Noel manzaralarını anlatan Christmas Time in New Orleans parçasını biz yine ufak bir Dolce dokunuşuyla Swinging Time in New Orleans olarak seslendireceğiz. trees at night sparkling bright fields 
Bales of cotton looking silvery white When it's swinging time in New Orleans A barefoot choir in prayer fills the air Mississippi folks are gathering there When it's swinging time in When it's swinging time in New Orleans Oh, yeah Çok teşekkür ederiz Sevgili dostumuz Yanuş'un da İlham Peris ile ilgili söylemek istediği çok kısa bir şey var. Kendisini davet ediyoruz. Yes, please. In English. Okay. Um, the subject of our session, the muse. I just want to say, uh, short in short, what it what it means for me. Uh, muse means uh, an inspiration. It's not a motivation. And for me, the inspiration is always more important than the motivation. And sometimes people make it, they don't, they, they mix it up it, it together. Also, the other thing is uh, that uh, uh, sometimes the journalist, when they make the interview with, with an artist, they have the question which artist don't, not, doesn't really like it. So instance, what is your favorite musician? What is your model? What do you think? And some musicians, they are, of course, saying, well, my model was Louis Armstrong or Mozart or Beethoven and so on, just to, to present him better than they are really are, you know, in reality. You know, my answer to this question is like, is like this. I don't have any favorite. I can find a fa my favorite musician and I can find inspiration within anyone. I can only find inspiration in, in somebody who is playing on the street, street musicians or folk musicians. Also, I can find an inspiration actually with the group I'm working with. So <laughs> this is the something which I found. This is my inspiration. You know, okay. Çok teşekkürler. Şimdi performansımızı Dolce olarak beraber söylediğimiz ilk şarkılardan biriyle bitirmek istiyoruz. Bu şarkı bizim gibi üç kadın vokalden oluşan ve bu tür grupların çıkışına da öncülük etmiş Andrew Sisters'dan gelecek Boogie Boogie Bugle Boy. He was a famous trumpet man at Chicago Way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man of his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the trap. He's in the army now, a low reveille. He's the boogie boogie bugle boy of Company B. They made him blow a bugle for his Uncle Sam. It really brought him down because he could not jam. The captain seemed to understand. Because the next day the cap went out and drafted a pen. And now the company jumps when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. A toot, a toot, a toot, a toot, a toot, he rose late to the bar. In boogie rhythm, we can't pull a note unless the bass and guitar is playing with him. And the company jumps when he plays reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. He was some boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. 
when he played Boogie Woogie Bugle, he was busy as a busy bee. And when he played, he made the company jump into the bar. He's the Boogie Woogie Bugle boy of Company P. Ada tootly ada tootly ada, toot toot he goes eight to the bar. He can't blow an order for bass and guitar isn't with him. And the company jumps when he plays Reveille. He's the Boogie Woogie Bugle boy of Company B. Dolce'nin dördüncü üyesi. He puts the boys to sleep in boogie every night And wakes them up the same way in the early ride They clap their hands and stop their feet Because they know how he plays when someone gives him a beat He really breaks them up when he plays Reveille He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B Da da da da da da da da da da da And the company jumps when he plays Reveille He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B Çok teşekkürler